Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. sustains his lead over his rivals in the 2022 presidential race, according to a new Pulse Asia survey conducted on April 16 to 22. The survey shows 56% of 2,400 registered Filipino voters would choose Marcos Jr. as their president. Vice President Lenny Robredo's numbers, meanwhile, are practically steady at a 23% voter preference compared to her 24% in March. Following Robredo is Senator Manny Pacquiao, who sees a voter preference of 7%, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno with 4% voter preference, and Senator Panfilo Lacson with 2% voter preference. Ernesto Abelia and Faisal Mongondato see a 1% voter preference each, while candidates Jose Montemayor, Leody de Guzman, and Norberto Gonzalez all got less than 1% each in the survey. Marcos Jr. sees his biggest drop in Metro Manila, where voter preference for him fell by 7 percentage points from 64% to 57%. Robredo sees her largest gain in the capital region, climbing 9 percentage points from 17% in February to 26% in March. Moreno sees the biggest drop with his numbers dipping across the country following an Easter Sunday press conference where he urged Robredo to quit. Former Corrections Chief Rafael Ragos, the Justice Department star witness in the pending court cases against Senator Laila de Lima, retracts his accusations against the jailed opposition lawmaker. This is a huge development for de Lima since Ragos is a witness on record for the prosecution and his testimony was significant in the judge's decision to proceed with de Lima's trial in February 2021. Rago says in a sworn affidavit, all the previous statements or testimonies delivered by him saying he delivered money to the Lima are false and he was forced to invent the story under the instructions of former Justice Secretary, now National Police Commission Commissioner Vitaliano Aguirre. Rago says in his affidavit, he was told by Prosecutor Lawrence Joel Taliping, magtestigo ka ng mabuti, minimonitor ka ng malakanyang. Ragos was initially charged alongside the Lima, but the DOJ dropped him from the case and turned him into a witness in 2017. The Lima earlier called on the other convicts to follow Espinosa's cue and retract their statements. Meantime, presidential bet vice President Lenny Robredo and running mate Senator Kiko Pangilinan call for the immediate release of the Lima after witnesses in her pending drug cases withdraw their accusations. De Lima has been in jail for five years and is mounting her 2022 senatorial campaign from Camp Crame. Presidential candidate Senator Manny Pacquiao pays a visit and lays a wreath at the Press Freedom Monument as soon as he arrives in Cagayan de Oro on Saturday, April 30, to honor 201 journalists killed since 1986. His visit comes a few days before the World Press Freedom Day, which will be celebrated on Tuesday, May 3. Pacquiao is the first presidential aspirant to visit the Press Freedom Monument in Cagayan de Oro, which was built to honor fallen journalists in the Philippines. Pacquiao says he will not allow a return to the time of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos, where the press was controlled by the government. In a press conference with local journalists after the ref laying, Pacquiao says he finds the red tagging of journalists and activists as unconstitutional and promises it should be reviewed if he wins the presidency. On the same day, Pacquiao holds a rally in Divisoria Cagayan de Oro where around 10,000 to 12,000 supporters gather. Presidential candidate Vice President Lenny Robredo and Batangas 6th District Representative Deputy Speaker Vilma Santos Recto's meeting in Batangas raises speculation whether the actress turned politician would finally make the big switch. Robredo and running mate Senator Kiko Pangilinan meet with the Rectos on Saturday, April 30, for lunch at their home. Vilma's husband, Senator Ralph Recto, heads one Batangas party, which earlier endorsed Manila Mayor Isko Moreno for president, promising him 1 million votes from the province. Asked if welcoming the vice president in their home translates to her support for Robredo's presidential bid, Vilma says she does not believe in branding and will vote according to what she believes in. The Robredo camp barnstormed Batangas once more on Saturday where their Bawan rally drew a 280,000-strong crowd. Meanwhile, members of the Ledesma and Araneta clans in Iloilo, Negros Occidental, and Makati City turned out in droves for the Lenny Kiko tandem on Saturday, April 30. Lisa Araneta Marcos, wife of Robredo's rival Ferdinand Marcos Jr., belongs to these two clans. 
The UP Fighting Maroons slay the Ateneo Blue Eagles on Sunday, May 1, halting the defending champions' 39-game winning streak in the UAAP men's basketball competition. The State University's team accomplishes the feat with a cardiac 84-83 finish on the last day of the men's basketball elimination at the Mall of Asia Arena. Richie Rivero, James Spencer, and Malik Diouf come through in the crucial game to secure UP a spot at the semifinals and end Ateneo's 13-game sweep for the season. UP coach Goldwyn Monteverde says a highlight for him was seeing how the team stayed as a team during the game. The semifinals will kick off on Wednesday, May 4, with the Blue Eagles and the Fighting Maroons owning a twice-to-beat advantage at the top two seats. Thank you.